In this video, I'm gonna give you guys five very important tips that are gonna help you be more competitive in multiple offer situations. All right, multiple offer tip number one. Always, always call the listing agent and make sure that you know exactly what the story is with their sellers if they're willing to give that information up. Do they have a home already purchased? Do they need specific dates? Are they worried about not finding a home in the market and they want flexibility? Well, maybe in that case, you could present them with a rent back option. So maybe a quick close where the buyers can get, or the sellers can get their money in hand and then have the option of maybe renting back their own home for three months, six months. Yes, this can be a little bit of an inconvenience for your buyers, but in a very competitive market where you're getting multiple offers almost everywhere, this definitely could be a feather in your cap. This could be why the listing agent gives you a counter offer, or maybe they consider working with your offer over a higher priced offer. Another very important tip is do all your due diligence up front. Get your home inspections done prior to the offer date. Get the inspection done. Make sure that you are covering your own butt for liability. Second thing is, is if you are having to put financing as a condition, find some lending partners that are able to give you a firm pre-approval where that's not a condition that you need to put in the offer. Now that's not advice you can give, that's advice that a broker can, but there are brokers out there who will do that for you. Obviously having a condition-free offer will give you a much higher advantage when you're dealing with offer situations. Another very important tip is making sure that you have a very strong deposit or what we call earnest money, okay? Have 5% of the purchase price as a minimum upfront if you can in your offer. This will show strength to the sellers, of course, and is something that uh, at the end of the day gives them a little bit of peace of mind in case somehow the deal didn't complete. Another thing that's very important when you're in a multiple offer situation is take the time to really, really prepare your buyers and have the conversation more than once around price. Things that you could say to a potential buyer is, listen, if you lost this property by $10,000, $5,000, $15,000, would you lose sleep at night knowing that, right? In some cases, some of your market comparables need to be in higher price markets around where you are. We live in a different world now where the economies are changing, right? People are able to work more remotely, which has opened up a whole possibility to, to where people can live. In fact, a lot of people are fleeing big cities and looking for more remote areas that have a higher standard of living, but also more affordable prices. They're coming from higher priced places, so their mindset on something that maybe is a $500,000 home in your market, that same home might be 1.2 in there. So in their mind, they're thinking six, seven, 800,000 is a steal. So knowing some of the influential markets that people may be using as comparison, will help you guys better understand how to help guide your buyers. It's very difficult for even the most experienced agents in this market, but these are some tips that will give you guys a little feather in your cap. But remember, don't be lazy. Always have a conversation. Always connect with the listing agent. Make sure you communicate often. Make sure that you build a really strong rapport. And if you can, here's one final little tip. In your offer, you can put something along the lines of the buyer invites the seller to counter the buyer in the event that this offer is not the highest offer. The buyer agrees to respond within 30 minutes and if agreeable, will pay 5,000 more than the highest price offer. Something like that could be a nice feather in your cap where you might get the a counter offer where maybe they would have skipped over your offer. So these are some tips. I hope this is helpful, guys. Make sure you subscribe below, comment, and if you guys are looking to level up in your business, check us out at thecollaborativemovement.com. We're changing lives. We're helping entrepreneurs in real estate become much more profitable. And we're masterminding at a level that's unseen in the industry. I'm Jason Smart. I'm always happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. If you really found this valuable, smash the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube page, and then look for more amazing content.